At Lalamond Baking, our mission is to raise baking standards. And while there's a lot of science involved, it's also an art, the art of fermentation. Since the early 19th century, Lalamond has been producing yeast, which is a living microorganism, probably the oldest one known to man. But that hasn't stopped us from consistently introducing innovations to improve the productivity and performance of yeast in a variety of industrial applications. So here's how it works. It starts with a single cell fungus. We'll call it the mother cell. It divides and produces a daughter cell. How fast that happens can vary from two hours in a lab to four hours in a yeast fermenter. There are a number of environmental conditions that affect cell reproduction, like oxygen levels, other microbes, the temperature, nutrients that might be added, stress factors or chemical inhibitors, and the pH. A pure yeast cell is mixed with water and nutrients used to create an initial liquid culture in a tube. As the cells multiply, that liquid is transferred to a flask. As the process continues, the cells are transferred to larger and larger environments. The purpose of each scale-up is to increase the biomass, to get enough yeast for production. In fact, what started out in that small tube can produce 500,000 pounds of yeast. The yeast produced can be made into four different forms of product. By running yeast through a centrifuge, cream yeast is produced. With further processing through a vacuum filter, you get compressed or cake yeast. Take out even more moisture with a fluid bed dryer, and you get dry yeast. At Lalamond, we take pride in the quality of our work and our products. That's why we test rigorously for purity, flavor, aroma, and so much more before the yeast gets to you. We believe in and invest in the art of fermentation so you can take your art to a whole new level. Bread, it's life-sustaining an important source of carbohydrates, and one of the most widely consumed foods in the world. And bread making is an art, one that Lalamond Baking knows a lot about, because we produce the yeast critical to the process. The quality of our yeast directly affects the performance of your bread. It influences taste, aroma, appearance, and processing. It's simple, great yeast helps make great bread. Let's look at a general overview of the process. It starts with sponge mixing. Mix flour, water, and yeast. The yeast makes the dough rise. This mixture ferments, depending on the process, for one to four hours. The next step is dough mixing. Here all the rest of the ingredients are added, like more flour, water, salt, sugar, and enzymes. After the dough relaxes or sits for a bit, it goes to the divider. The dough is separated into individual units and then goes to the rounder. The next step is intermediate proofing. This is where the dough piece relaxes a little bit before molding. When it goes through the molder, it gets its final shape. Then it's dropped into the baking pan. The proof box is heat and humidity controlled. The pan takes a ride for about 60 minutes. Finally, it's time to bake. During baking, the dough piece goes through three stages. The first stage of baking is the yeast kill. This ideally is about 55% of the total baking time, hitting an internal temp of 140 degrees. This kills the yeast so it won't rise anymore. The second stage is called gelatinization, and the internal temperature is getting around 165 degrees. This sets the internal structure of the bread and takes us to about 65% of the total baking time. The final bake starts about 85% into the baking process. The temperature rises again to 200 plus degrees and the structure is completely set. In the bread making process, yeast is critical. It's the yeast that causes the product to rise, produces great aroma, and contributes to the flavor, not to mention the nutrients it provides. At Lalamond Baking, we take the art of fermentation seriously so you can take the art of bread making to the next level.